All right, Kevin, here we are with this beautiful tri-pacer. What are we going to go do? We're going to take this tri-pacer to three grass airports in Northwest Indiana for the first time in over 30 years. Nice. Excited. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. This is a beautiful little bird. We got a few cameras on it. We're going to show you around good old Northwest Indiana, what the roots of aviation is all about, flying around in this beautiful little tri-pacer. So excited for this. It's my first time flying in this particular aircraft. And uh, definitely excited to show you guys all about it. Back in Tupelo in 1935, baby boy rocked the world, the rhythm came alive. Here comes the king. the green. It's look good. There's speed alive. We have rotation speed. Going through the races. Five out. Five out. Yeah, cool little flying bird. Go. Goodbye. Bye, sectional. Approval traffic, Piper 2953, Papa, left crosswind 26, sub parking area to the south, good. No pressure. I, I know. And ladies and gentlemen, we have that camera on the back. You can score his landing in the comments below. One to ten. <laughs> well, traffic Piper 2953, Papa left uh, crosswind 364. Probably, I just called that left cross, went into the left base. I'm over here, Mark's got me all flustered. <laughs> Finals looking clear. Runway is yours. The 747 just taxied off. Make sure your toes aren't on the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Get our air conditioning going. Yeah. Cool. That taxi went like had an upside down water bottle in it. Nice. Alright, off to Kankakee. 
Off the Kankakee! They, got, they just have bottles in them. Yeah. Yeah, it works. So the short field takeoff technique for this is hold the brakes full power and uh, approximately you get to rotation speed, then pull the flaps in. And it will, you will reduce your takeoff roll by approximately 20%. Yeah, that's crazy. That that that's even applicable on land, huh? Yeah. We did that in the uh, really. Yeah, on the water too. You just you mean just pulling it off like this? You just pull it like yep. a little bit and then you let off. Yep. It pops it off. Just and then it afterwards, off. you just gently put it back on. That is amazing. I didn't know that that technique worked uh, for for uh, even on the. Dude, back in the fifties, they, awesome. they didn't care. They're like, oh well, you know, it'll probably work. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Cool. Ready? I'm ready. The brake was uh, sticking. I felt that stick a little bit. I got the throttle if you want to get that uh, flap. There she goes. There she goes. Yeah, throttle. Throttle on. As angle attack would say. We good, there's 85. Let it do what it do. That airspeed's looking fine. Hold Think that center line like you hold your lady. <laughs> you pun like a heavy. I can't get somewhere over uh, this way. Yeah, let's just start heading in that direction. They will find it eventually, I'm sure. I like this. No GPS. Nothing. No magenta lines. Got a couple jet pilots up here. Just trying to figure ourselves figure out. Figure ourselves out. Like oh, dead reckoning. They're like dead reckoning, what's that? Yeah, we actually might need that sectional chart. <laughs> we probably do. <laughs> it's back there. But, oh, what did, what did they have this in here for? Yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> There you go, folks. It might be out of date, but it might save our butts today. There we go. Let's see what we can find. I haven't pulled one of these out in a hot minute. Let's see. We just took off from Wall. So, Kankakee over here. Let's see if we can find some prominent landmarks to go for. This is 3KK Kankakee Airport, so it's not the Greater Kankakee Airport, it's just regular it's old just Kankakee, Kankakee Airport. Airport. The Kankakee Airport. And uh, I've never landed here actually, so this should be fun. I've landed at uh, India Kilo Kilo lots of times, but never 3 Kilo Kilo. So basically, if we follow this main road, this one, we should run into it shortly, right? Yeah. So once I we guess, get to I-57 we could just head west and then follow it to the south? Nah, just keep cutting like this. Like a 240, yeah. that's where we're going. If we start heading doing. like this, once we get oh, here. Up, once we hit I-57, uh, yeah, once we get to I-57, we just follow that south. Oh my word. That one's frameable. That one back there, that's frameable. This one? That yeah. is sick. With a little bit of the water in there too, we just yeah. happen to be over the lake. That's the best place to meet up for uh, formation because oh, you're getting those really cool shots over the lake too. That is awesome. I, I got the airport now, the main Greater Kankakee Airport. So then, yeah, yeah, Kilo Kilo. Uh, Kankakee Airport is just beyond that, right? Uh, I got a visual on that, so I'm just going to plan to fly over it at 1,600. So if I do a low pass over 2-7 trying to check things out, yeah. I can loop right back around to the left pattern, I'm assuming. Yep. But there's no airport notams. There is no notams. I checked the notams before we took we did. off. I actually did. I'm not even making that part up. I mean, most of the stuff I say on here I make up, but not that part. I mean, that's basically why I act like I'm friends with Kevin. Yeah, just because he's got such a big OnlyFans account. Yeah. I'm just trying to grow yeah. my YouTube channel with his pretty face on there. Uh, and after October, I can't post the kind of pictures I usually do, so... Yeah, so I guess we all have grown to 
no one appreciate. I mean, most of you guys probably don't recognize him just by his face. <laughs> Since this is a family friendly oh, PG no. channel, we're not trying to get far keep monetized. Yeah, exactly. Alright folks, back to flying airplanes. Fitness. We're gonna find an airport here. And then we're gonna let it do what it do. Oh, definitely. You wanna put it on uh, Kankakee's frequency just so we can listen to them in case? Do west now. And it's to the south of this little bend in the river. We should basically fly right over it. I and think I see it. Straight off of our nose. You see with that? The red with the building on the right. Yeah, it's really wide. It's really wide and it's got like a set of trees on uh, the east side of the field. Oh yeah. 927 is 2664 by 300 feet. Yeah, that's, that's definitely it. it. So we're just going to do a low pass because neither of us have landed have at this here. airport. We'll do a low pass over runway 27. If everything looks good, we'll circle around and we'll land on runway 27. Out here, try pasting. If you look over to the left side, you see the Greater Kankakee Airport. But we're going to THE Kankakee Airport. Is it called the Greater Kankakee Airport because it's longer? I just think it's greater. Oh, well, the water park there. It's empty, so I'm assuming it's closed. That's a good assumption, Mark. That's kind of sad, because it looks like you could have a lot of fun there. So, you Kankakee folks, let us know what happened to your water park. Do you guys just didn't like it, or if, uh... Well, after, everybody just goes to the greater Kankakee Airport. Yeah. Look at this. This looks like some sort of a university or college. College or something. Prep school of some sort down there. Hey, look at buildings. Just off the river. Yeah, it looks like it's back off the river enough so that you hopefully don't get flooded. Hard. I don't know if this is quite wide enough for me. I don't know. I don't know if I can make this work. Especially for this big wide body. Yeah. Piper heavy. They just had to put a set of trees at the end of the runway, right, Joe? Yeah, that's every airport. Every airport just like, oh, we need to plant some trees there. There's a runway. It looks like it's mowed, but like almost like it's a like mowing. Yeah. Pretty rutted. I'm just going to get down nice and low, get a good look at it. There's no wires here, right? I don't see no. any wires. They've got some cars here. Right down the runway there. Oh, oh yeah, it looks good condition for yeah. that. Oh, I'm liking that just fine. I don't have a problem with that. So, very nice. It looked a little redded in the middle there. Yeah. Maybe it might just offset a touch. Sounds good. Uh, birds. Yep, see them. Oh man, another flag. Uh, yeah, them. there's... Alright, pulling up above those ones. Alright, get out of the way, folks. Alright, coming around. So, it looked a little firmer to the left side of the runway, right? Yeah. Alright, that's what we're planning to do then. Big trucks. Oh, there's some ruts there. I'm just going to hold it off so I get to where it looks a little firmer. Uh, I don't know if it'll get stopped in time. There we get go. Get out those brakes. Oh no, no, we got lots of room. Woohoo, bounce and keep that nose up. It's pretty rough right through here. Yeah. 
This is definitely a lot rougher than uh, bowl. But I haven't had go. to touch the brakes yet, and we got lots of runway there, so I'll just plan to let it slow down. I'm going to touch them just a little bit here. I'm going to take this flap off, and I'm just going to touch them just a touch. There we go. That's enough to get it to turn. I'll keep that nose up, keep it rolling. It looks to be pretty uh, firm. It feels, it, it looked a lot softer because of these few ruts. So yeah. I wonder if those ruts came during the spring because it's nice and firm. Yeah. You notice the ones that I kind of glided over because I thought those ruts were like, they look like they were pretty wet still, yeah. but they're not. This is, it seems like really dry. So I don't know if in the spring this field gets a little bit uh, mushy or something. But it's definitely needs to be rolled.